We look forward to seeing our pre-K through fourth grade students returning at 100% next week. That means that all students will be returning to a five-day in-school week for the first time this school year. In order to provide as safe and healthy environment as possible, students will be expected to continue to wear masks, socially distance themselves, and to wash their hands frequently. They've been at school the last few weeks and already know the new safety protocols, but the dynamics of having all the students together again may require some adjustments in schedules, in pacing, in classroom activities. We thank all of our students for their cooperation. I also extend my thanks to all the students in grades 5 through 12 and their parents for their patience and their persistence as we continue the hybrid 50-50 schedule. One of the challenges we face in returning these grade levels to 100 percent is the cohorting or maintaining manageable groups through the day for purposes of contact tracing if and or when a positive COVID case develops. As we now are bringing back grades pre-K through 4 our focus is the preparation for bringing back other grade levels. For the health and safety of students, staff, and the families associated with them, we continue to move deliberately and in consultation not only with our health department, but also with other school districts within Hamilton County. Again, we thank you all for your patience. Much attention has been focused, and rightly so, on our reaction to the COVID pandemic and on our preparations for a safe and healthy educational environment. I want to assure you, however, that there are several projects and efforts that are still receiving attention and are moving forward. In Portrait of a Graduate, determining what we believe to be the essential characteristics of a graduate is one of those projects. Defining characteristics such as critical thinking, problem solving, creative thinking, communicating, among others, will add focus and vision to the development of curriculum and instruction at all grade levels for years to come. Continuing to develop partnerships within the community to enhance the educational experiences for students at all grade levels remains a priority. And yet another ongoing effort is to move forward the construction of a building to replace Durban Elementary. The COVID challenge has certainly forced us to redirect energy to immediate needs but we've not lost sight of ongoing and long-term projects, opportunities, and goals. We thank you. Have a great weekend.